This section of the video is going to cover the tools located underneath the Google search as well as the sharing tool. Um, basically these tools are almost self-explanatory. You have an undo button and a redo button so if you make some sort of change on your map or one of your layers you can always kind of get rid of it or re -bring it, redo it. Um, the hand, if you click this, allows you to kind of grab your map and move it around. So this is an easy way to kind of drag the map and scroll around to find something. The place marker button also very easy. You click on it and it gives you a set of crosshairs and then you can click wherever you want it to go. So if I wanted to mark something else like I'll mark this right here and this could be green spot in DC. It gives me a choice of adding a picture. If I have a URL for a picture, I can very easily copy and paste it here, click add, and it will add it to my tag. And I can also add a description for this tag, random place mark. And I click save. It now becomes a part of whatever layer I have added it to. Once you have a place mark, you can click on it to edit it. Um, if I decide, you know what, I don't need that place mark after all, I can click undo and it disappears. So that is one of the nice things about the undo button. Now I'm going to scroll out and actually I'll use a shortcut. If I click on Queensberry, it'll take me right to my Queensberry tag and I can choose to um, create an area or create a line that will then become part of my layer. So if I'm doing part of my layer, I can come up here and I look at my layer, it's under the local layer, so it's going to be here. If I click on this add line or shape, it gives me the ability to click a point and then drag it to another point, and that can be my line. If I double click on that last point, it kind of enters in that line as a line segment. Now I can name this the border, and I can add a picture to it if I want. I can add a description, I can click save. Um, this line actually has a, a couple points. If I close it, you can actually drag the points to create a different shape. If I want to click that again, I can actually drag and create just about any shape I want. Just by clicking enough, you can almost create curved areas as well. But you can create a shaded area that also has the ability to label it. We're going to name this Region 1. And I can add a picture to it. Click Save. And now this is a part of my layer. It's a great way to label and mark certain parts of your map that you want students to notice or you want to be able to zoom into. Over on my left, my layers, I can click on any one of these objects and it will take me to them. Now, using a picture in one of your layers is very easy and I can do that up here. I have my place marker for the siege at Fort Ticonderoga. Now, when I imported the spreadsheet, I did have a web address there. Now this web address will not automatically display the picture, but what I can do is I can copy that web I can copy, click on this link and copy the address and then I click on the edit pencil and this little field here, if I paste the address and click add, adds the picture, I click save. I now have this place mark that has the name of the location, the date of the battle, has even a link where I got the picture from, but it also has the picture built right in. So that makes it a nice way to display some sort of graphic that goes along with the place you're marking. Now the last tool is the tool over here on the right, and this is your share tool. The share tool off to the right looks an awful lot like Google Docs. You have the same ability to share as you do in Docs. You can keep your map private, you can change the settings and make it public on the web, you can also add people to be collaborators and work together on a map. Now it's not instantaneous updates like you're used to in Google Docs where you'll see the person typing the words. There might be a couple second delay, but you can have multiple people on different computers working on the same map. Now this has been Google Maps Engine. Hope you use it and have a good time with it.